Well, it's not often I have a boxed Henry Micro in front of me, and this one is actually brand new, so let's go. This is a Costco Henry Micro, so, well, it's comes with an extra. So first we have the instruction manual, standard Henry Micro instru in instruction manual. So inside you'll see it illustrates the new wand bend, shows a kid assembling it as well. And here it shows that it is a new base style. It also doesn't have the flower on it which is, I'm sort of glad. Because it is controversial. Con oh. Controversial! Boo! So blah blah blah, that's all the serious stuff. There, that's, we'll chuck that down there. Here, we have, not only do we have the energy label, which we'll have a quick look at. It's stuck to the tool bag, look. Yeah, there you go. So it has C for emissions, D for carpets, C for floors, 72 decibels, and it's an A for energy. Brand new small tools, which I think will open. We might as well. And then you can get brand new sets on eBay for under a fiver. I've seen them for under a fiver. So it has a dusting brush, which is not in its housing properly. That's a uh, longer than previous ones I think. It's fairly stiff, it's not too bad. That's definitely softer than the the older ones. Here we've got the crevice tool. That's standard. We have the slide on brush. Which actually again it's softer than previous slide on brushes. The adapter. It's quite long actually. Ooh. And the upholstery tool without the slide on brush, obviously. So, the extra this vacuum comes with is a nozzle I've not had much experience with, and it is the Halo brush. So, it comes, well, presumably free. This was um, just a tiny bit short of £120 at a Costco, which actually is alright because if you think about it, how much are the Henry Micros? Let's say 110. I see the hero brushes on eBay for about 12, 15 pounds. So here it is. Looks quite good. I'll get you off the tripod in a little while and have a look at all of this. But I'm just unboxing it now. Next, we have the floor head. Now this is the vessel bit floor head with the plastic base, which again. If only it was metal, eh? But, hey-ho! I'm excited to see the new tool brackets because I want to see just how much bulkier does it make the standard Henry. I know you'll see that the parking bracket is built in. How many of these parking brackets have you seen go missing? It's actually there's lint dust, like dust from the lint pickers on the base plate. But that looks good. Again, the bristles look longer than the previous ones were, I think. So, again, I'm seeing some improvements in the tools so far. Oh, we can see the Henry now. But here's the conical hose. You'll see it's thick at this end and pretty thin at this end. we we'll put the two together. It's got a different insert, so don't try and put a conical hose on a... A non-conical Henry, by the way, just don't. It's not doesn't go down well. Oh, this is the bend tube with the new suction grip. Now there's a piece of foam in here that makes it quieter when you've got it open, which I do quite like because I've always been a little bit noisy. So that'll take a bit of getting used to. It looks really weird with a red thing on. Let's come round this way. And grab oh, two tubes, both just the standard tubes, really. Yep, that's fine. These are all hmm, actually a bit dirty. Look, don't know if you can see. 
this one here is a bit mucky, but nothing a quick blow off doesn't fix. Right, I'm going to pause while I take Henry out of the box, because I'm going to have you off the tripod now, we'll have a closer look at him, so give me a second. Before we look at Henry, I forgot, comes with three new HEPA flows. Now, let's go grab Henry and I'll get you off the tripod. Actually, you might just be able to see him. Ooh. So here is Henry Micro. Woohoo. So here is the new bucket. Now this is ugh, this is going to take some getting used to. So here we've got two tool holders which are obviously much more rigid than clips and you'll see now people can't put the tops on squint. That does everybody's head in. So let's grab, I'll just grab a dusting brush and a standard floor nozzle. So now we can have a tool, you can actually put the, adap the adapter on that and then the crevice tool on that. And in that, that seems much more secure than it did previously, because previously it used to wobble about, but this feels much better. So that, oh, it's a bit stiff, probably because it's new. Out you come. There we go. So yep. Yeah. So that's very nice. So I still got ten meter flex and everything. Wait for this to focus. Come on. See, it's a HVR two hundred M dash eleven from week thirteen of twenty seventeen. I'm shaking because I'm so excited. Eight kilograms, six twenty watts. Flex is a wee bit crinkly, but that's probably from sitting a bit. Let's take the little plastic protector off and we'll... I attempted to chuck it in the box, but that didn't go well. So, standard Rolex Flex. Oh, that's a lovely smooth cable rewind. Hard to do with one hand. Very easy with two when you can steady the machine. So there's just a hint of factory dust on it, but apart from that... Yep, I haven't had a brand new Henry before, I had a brand new Nuvac and a brand new, sorry, brand new Lewis, it's a wee bit rubber, I have to say pneumatic has gone down ever so slightly in quality, I must say, I mean you never used to get random bits of rubber and flimsy plastic everywhere, this is different, this is the micro filter, now this is thicker and yellow as well. Obviously new, just a bit crinkly, and then there's a brand new bag fitted with an even different bit inside, fit the bag fully. So very nice, this is good for allergies. It's um, British Allergy Foundation approved. So yes, yeah, see, because there's a cutout in the back that makes it fit, you can't actually fit it otherwise. So... That's lovely. Let's um, plug them in. I'm not going to do any vacuuming in this video. I'm just going to plug it in and we'll let it run, see what it sounds like. So, I'm going to pause while I plug in and get ready to, well, clean, sort of. Well, the light has came on. So, let's switch the machine on. That's nice and quiet, obviously, because it's a pneumatic, and the suction is really good. So that concludes my unboxing. I'll probably do a review of this, probably. So thanks for watching. See you, well, next time.